Good stuff. Too bad we don't have any fun here. Welcome back to UFC tonight. It is almost the new year, so of course that means it is time to showcase the best of 2017. First up, fight of the year, gentlemen. The UFC put on 38 total events so far in 2017, including 23 fight nights, 11 pay-per-views, and four big box events for a total of 447 fights. So Ken Flo, of all of those, which one was the fight of the year? Man, oh man, we had an awesome year. Yes. But I got to go with Medeiros and Oliveira. These guys put on an absolute show, knocking each other uh, down left and right. Uh, it started quickly, and, and it just kept going. And kind of there was this crescendo of violence that happened with eventually uh, Medeiros getting the finish over Cowboy Oliveira. But Man, what a fight. Yeah. It's hard to kind of remember all the fights you had, but that one was a little bit more recent. But I got to go well, with that one. Spectacular. That I think you must be forgetting, Kenny. Mm. Is Michael Johnson versus Justin Gagey earlier in the year. That was insane. Yeah. Out and out violence. You even created a new scale based upon that fight. <laughs> the Son and Gagey scale, if anybody listens to your podcast. Yeah. Um, oh. It was just all out violence, start to finish, back and forth the whole time, of course. Gagey was the winner. A star was born, the most violent, most violent man yeah. in the UFC. Unbelievable. Yeah, fantastic. I seem to remember somebody saying Gagey wasn't ready for the UFC. I, but I, 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 I don't know. Say. I don't know. But, but Whoa, uh, speaking, we're of, starting early. <laughs> speaking of Yancey Madero, so he is going to face Donald Cerrone in the main event on FS1 uh, at UFC Fight Night in Austin on February 18th. That is uh, a great fight and boosting already impressive card, so we cannot wait for that. Uh, now, next up, guys, the finish of the year, though. Of those 447 UFC fights, 78 ended by submission. Almost twice as many resulted in a KO or TKO with 146, so just less than half of all fights ended by decision. So, Michael, of yes. the 224 finishes, which one was your favorite and why? Well, for me, you don't have to go back that far. It was only a few events ago. Alistair Overham took on Francis Ngannou and unfortunately was nearly decapitated in the process. He nearly lo lost his head due to an uppercut from hell. Uh, Overham was off balance and Ngannou flipped it up. My word, it was horrible. It was beautiful. It was so many things. It was painful. That was the best finish. Kenny Florian, do better if you can. It's pretty good. I think I'm still going through therapy uh, after that fight. It, was, it really, it really traumatized me. But I'm gonna go with something a little bit more technical, perhaps. Let's go with Demetrius Johnson's finish over Ray Borg. This guy, are you uh, listen? He did a suplex. He did a takedown. He was okay. working it for months. He did a suplex right into an arm lock. Are you kidding me? This is something you play around with your little brother in practice. He did it in a UFC title fight. I mean, Demetrius Johnson right there, I think, cemented himself as the best pound for pound fighter and was one of the craziest finishes I've ever seen. Yeah, that was spectacular. Oh, and that in Ghanu, seeing that Ngannou finish again in real time is even scarier. I'm it so, is. oh, yes. mm. oh my goodness. All right, next up. We are going to move on to the biggest story of the year. So some of them were great stories, mm. others not so much. Flo, uh, the UFC did double the number of women's divisions, crowning a flyweight and a featherweight champion. George St. Pierre returned after four years away and won the middleweight title at Madison Square Garden. The impossible happened when Conor McGregor boxed Floyd Mayweather in a massive money fight. John Jones returned. He won. And then he was stripped of his title for a third time. And finally, Kenny, you were just talking about Demetrius Johnson. He made his 11th consecutive title defense, breaking the record. Michael Bisbee. Yes. What is the biggest story to you this year? Well, of course, many, many fantastic stories, as you just outlined. But due to the sheer shock of it, the sheer surprise, I just couldn't believe it, it was John Jones getting stripped for a third time after coming back, defeating Daniel Cormier the way that he did, winning by a knockout. It was an unbel unbelievable victory. But then to test positive for steroids again. This is a guy that could have gone down as the best fighter that we ever saw in the organization. And it's just, I mean, where do you begin? It just, it just never ends. It never ends. And for me, it just blew my mind. I gotta go with that. That was a big story for sure. I gotta go with McGregor and Mayweather. You know, KB and I have been talking about it for like two know years. It. Okay, yeah, absolutely. This was a story that everyone was talking about. Is the fight going to happen? And then when it happened, I mean, just everyone. I had grandmothers coming up to me at supermarkets. Hey, Kenny, what do you think is going to happen in the Mayweather-McGregor fight? Who wins this fight? Well, we're still talking about it. Here I am still talking about it. But th that was, you know, one of the biggest Can I say one thing? Of all time. Can I say one thing? Talk to me. It wasn't an MMA story.
You're right. It was the biggest well, story of the, it is. It included. It was a boxing event. Under. It was a boxing event. Moving on <laughs> to the fighter of the year. Uh, several champs and former champs had a dominant 2017, including Demetrius Johnson, who broke the record for consecutive title defenses. Our own Tyron Woodley defended his title twice. Rafael Dos Anjos went 3-0 and up a weight class. Rose Nama Yunus upset Ioanni on Jacek and TJ Dillashaw reclaimed his throne with a big KO over, over, KO over his rival, uh, Cody Garbrandt. But uh, Kenny Florian, which fighter had the very best year? Well, certainly there are a lot of fighters that uh, deserve praises. And, um, you know, I'm going to go with Max Holloway, a, a guy who surprised me not once, but twice. And he went out there and beat who many people believe to be the best featherweight of all time in Jose Aldo. Not only did he beat him, he beat him twice. He finished him twice. Um, just phenomenal performances, and, and a guy in Max Holloway who's been knocking on the door for a very long time, a guy who's yeah. at, what, like 11, 12 wins in a row? Max Holloway, you're my fighter of the year. Yep, Great got choice. to agree with Kenny there 100%. Maxi Baby, at top of the tree in 2017. Two great victories over a fantastic opponent. He's the man. Yeah. yeah.